Before I start the video, I just want to say thank you to Blue Fire. He's the one who originally started this idea, and I had asked him recently if I could continue by doing a part two, because he was supposed to do the part two, even though the part one was five months ago. So thank you a lot to him for helping out. It means a lot to me. Please go check him out. He recently just hit 1,000 subscribers. Go give him some love. Now, I also just want to say that I know every single name that we get down is not incredibly accurate. So sorry. But we tried our best to make everything as accurate as possible. That way, the comments don't go absolutely crazy saying that the stuff that we did was wrong. So if we did get something wrong, please let us know in the comments. I will have a pinned comment that will display every mistake that we have made up to date. And this list is updated as of December 6th. So there will be a lot of levels that get placed during the editing process of this, which I will add in the section in the description that will also have the level's name and what we have researched to find out what that level name practically means. Thank you to all the people that did voice covers. Thank you to all the people that just helped out. They're all amazing. All their links and everyone will be in the description. Thanks so much. And with that out of the way, we can jump into the video. But before we dive into the levels above the top 50, let's have a look at the levels that have been added below Cosmic Cyclone, the last level in the original vid, since that video. Codependence is a word based on codependent, which means that you are partner reliant. Since this level is a two player extreme demon, you rely on the partner that you have, unless you're insane and try to do it by yourself. A lightning rod, like used in the games, is a contraption to guide lightning to the tower and not to the ground in order to avoid certain places being struck by lightning for safety purposes. Deimos is a sequel to the extreme demon Phobos, which is based off of the song by Soulkrieg. As for context, it's the other moon orbiting around Mars, right next to Phobos. It also means dread in Greek, like how Phobos means fear in Greek. Eyes in the Water is a callback to the song named the level used by Six Impala. Or you just have Epiphora, another diagnosis for watery eyes. Despair means loss of absence or hope, and a tunnel is quite self-explanatory. But there is also another Steam game which has the same name, which is a horror game about being in a dark underground tunnel. Combustion is the process of burning something. Delta is the fourth letter in the Greek alphabet, and it's also the fourth level in the Greek letter series. It's not actually officially a part of Minecap's letter series. Damascus is the capital of Syria, being the fourth holiest city in all of Islam. And the level idea is supposed to be based on the creating aspect of the community and the history that each creator had. A network is the arrangement of horizontal and vertical lines intersecting or overlapping. Although this might be wrong, the wiki suggests that the Frost Spirit is a boss from the famous Tower Defense Simulator game, a major boss that appears exclusively in Outpost 32 as the final boss of the Frost Invasion event. A climax is the most intense, exciting, or important point of something. The Sky Shredder is a powerful upgrade for the Monkey Ace from the popular game Balloons Tower Defense 6. Its design was inspired by the Chengdu J20. A shimmer is a shine with a soft, tremulous light. An amalgam is a mixture or blend, or it could be an alloy of mercury with another metal, especially one used for dental fillings. The word trotl is likely from German trotl, Polish trotl, Romanian trotl. Ultimately, it's a form of an abbreviation of German trinitrotl. Now before you start going crazy and start going in the comments that I forgot tidal wave, no, I did not. A tidal wave is an exceptionally large wave that is caused by an undersea earthquake, also known as a tsunami. Instinct. Instinct is a Pokemon team reference, as it is the team Yellow, as it is the sequel to both Valor and Mystic, Valor being the red team and Mystic being the blue team. Lucid Nightmares. To have a lucid dream is to be in control of the dream and be aware that you are in control of it. And to be having a lucid nightmare is where it's quite literally the exact opposite and you have no control and you are still conscious. Wide step. To sidestep is to take a wide step, basically taking a larger step. Rust. A reddish or yellowish brown flaky coating of iron oxide that is formed on iron or steel by oxidation, especially in the presence of moisture. An atomic cannon is a 280mm gun, the first built to fire atomic explosive shells, with the addition of Mark II as an American semi-automatic pistol. Okay, so there's no basis for the actual words in this level, so I'll just have to break it down for you guys. Hardscapes is the idea of landscape material that are structured and built to be within or incorporated into the landscape. As for shards, the landscape in the level resembles prism-like shards as landscapes. In the religion of Theosophy and Anthroposophy, 
The Akashic Records are a compendium of all universal events, thoughts, words, emotions, and intent ever to have occurred in the past, present, or future, in terms of all entities and life forms, not just human. It also might be referencing an anime, but I don't actually know that. Directions A course along someone or something that moves. Ruthless is kind of just like, I don't know, like I just named it that, and the whole series is like synonyms of each other. Sides of the mind. Well, um... So when I was looking up this word, horos, I actually couldn't find anything or anything was not really given to me at all. So I assumed it just meant horrors. It just doesn't have an R in it. Despite being used in the Marvel movie Thor Ragnarok, the real term is referred to in Norse mythology as the final destruction of the world where gods fight evil forces, which is then followed by new creation is a gathering of people that are assembled to be in religious worship. A movie that was based on the idea of being in troubling puzzle rooms where victims have to solve the puzzles to escape imminent death. The past participle of tear, which is to pull or rip. Launchpad Labyrinth is a level that was in the Mario games. The level takes place in the ruins of an ancient city during sunset. Silent Club As said in the first video, the word silent to describe a level's immense difficulty is to be near borderline impossible. As for Club, that's the first half of Club Step, being the song it uses. Descent into Exile. When you abbreviate it, it actually spells out the word die. The level was originally codenamed Corrosion after the song, but I was aware from the start that I wouldn't want to name the level that as to not copy the other level with the same name and song. Originally, I was going to choose a synonym or antonym to Corrosion for the level name, but I eventually decided to look at words that Corrosion derived from, and I landed on Corrodere, which means the Noth or something. Omega Interface. Every interface level includes the first word being from the Greek letter series, like Delta, that was mentioned earlier. Omega falls under the same category, as it is also a part of the Greek alphabet. As for an interface, it is a device or a program enabling a user to communicate with a computer. The Rupture. The level stems off the classic and infamous 1.9 Insane Demon known as Rupture by Jekyll, which is by assumption. The word rupture is a way of a pipe or vein-like object suddenly breaking or bursting. Kappa, the twitch icon we all know and love. It is similar to the other letter level and is the tenth letter of the Greek alphabet. The Art of the Blade, it is a direct reference to Bushido Blade because of the song name and its ties to the video game Bushido Blade. Bloodlust, the uncomfortable desire to kill people. Fog is a thick cloud of tiny water droplets suspended in the atmosphere at or near the Earth's surface, which obscures or restricts visibility. Jesse Pinkman Jesse Bruce Pinkman is a fictional character in the American crime drama television series Breaking Bad. Asterios is the Latin translation of the word starry in Greek. Terminus is the word used for a final point in space or time, an end or extremity. This makes sense because it's the sequel to Eternal Moment, so this could be signifying the end of this eternal moment. Citra is the term for image, picture, or visualization. Unfortunately, we haven't received any context on the name Sazerix, so if you actually happen to know what this could mean, please let us know in the comments. If something is graceful, it's attractive and elegant. Awedzi, a reference to the famous 1.9 creator Awedzi, who is also known for making the extreme demon known as Sink. Funnily enough, Awedzi was made by a creator called Sink. So Sink created a Wedzi, and a Wedzi made Sink. A knight is a person who served in the Middle Ages, while thunder is defined as a large rumble noise that is caused by lightning flash. Coral Cave is a third stage of Sonic Rush Adventure, and what the level is, is a cyan grotto with, filled with crystalline coral forming purple surfaces, white paths, intertwining crystal and coral bridges. Aronia, a plant of the genus Aronia in the Rose family. A pagoda is a Hindu or Buddhist temple or sacred building, typically a many-tiered tower in India and East Asia, which is also a reference to the song name used. Same description as the previous day mill spot hybrid, only this version was a complete remake of Phobos. As mentioned earlier, the army introduced a 280mm gun, the first built to fire atomic explosive shells. Twilight is the soft glowing light from the sky when the sun is below the horizon, caused by the refraction and scattering of the sun's rays from the atmosphere. 
Considering the name of the level, I imagine the creator's favorite planet is Jupiter. So for those of you who weren't paying attention in that one class, it's the fifth planet in order of the solar system, and it's the largest in our solar system. Sigma. It is the 18th letter in the Greek alphabet, which also translates to the letter S, but nowadays it can also be used to describe a, in quotes, Sigma male, which is basically that weird kid that watches TikTok all day. If you didn't know already, a dump is a place to where you dispose of garbage. Most polis levels tend to have a buffered version that replaces the S with an X to indicate that it's harder than the first. Itacropolis being a sequel to the level Itacropolis. The Yandere. No, it's not just referencing Yandere Simulator. But a Yandere is actually just a Japanese description of a person who's overly obsessive with their crush and will use violence and murderous act to keep the bond. Untitled simply means to not have a name, and unmastered means that you simply haven't controlled or ruled something just yet. No. According to a source, the name of the song is said to be made by bridging H to make a pronunciation similar to nerve. German, nerve. An English word, hell. A skyline is an outline of land and buildings defined against the sky. As for neon, it's the way that fluorescent lighting works on objects, in its context at least. Kawarada. This means broken in Japanese. Land sailing, also known as sand yachting, land yachting, or dirt boating, is a sport that involves traveling over land with a sail powered vehicle, similar to sailing on water. Fusion is the process or result of joining two or more things together to form a single entity. And obviously, the dynamics part comes from Electrodynamics, which it's a remake of. Also, interestingly, the name might also be talking about nuclear fusion as a substitute for electricity. An outpost is a small military camp or position at some distance from the main force, used especially as a guard against surprise attack, which, when connected with farthest, meaning far. Akira is a Japanese name for the word bright. Ouroboros, a circular symbol depicting a snake, or less commonly, a dragon, swallowing his tail as an emblem of wholeness or infinity. Ow! Our wa, I'm sorry Domitio, means to master their destiny. It's also apparently named for kids as well. Visible ray. The visible spectrum is the band of electromagnetic spectrum that is visible to the human eye. Arctic lights, also commonly known as the northern lights, aurora borealis, or the southern lights, aurora australis, predominantly seen in high latitude regions around the Arctic and Antarctic. Plasma pulse finale. Plasma is the colorless fluid part of blood, lymph, or milk, in which corpuscles or fat globules are suspended. A pulse is a rhythmical throbbing of the arteries as blood is propelled through them, typically as felt in the wrist or neck, mixed with finale, making it the final level in the Plasma Pulse series. Frozen Cave An ice cave is any type of natural cave, most commonly lava tubes or limestone caves, that contain significant amounts of perennial. Chroma Finale Chroma is the purity or intensity of color, finale making it the last in the Chroma series. Sizzlak is a surname that is of American origin and is used globally. To repent is basically just feeling regret or remorse for something wrong you've done. So to be repentless means that you are heartless and don't feel anything. Calamity is an event causing great and often sudden damage or distress, a disaster. Friday is the sixth day of the week. Ego killing is a process described by people who've experienced it as a feeling of losing oneself. It's termed this way because it's been reported as a form of dying in which one lets go of their sense of self and identity. Critium is Latin for cry. Spectrum Cyclone A spectrum is the band of colors, as seen in the rainbow, produced by separation of components of light by the different degrees of refraction according to wavelength. As for a cyclone, it is a system of winds rotating inward to an area of low atmospheric pressure. Nevermore means never again. Fragmented means to be broken. Gustavo Fring Gustavo Fring is a fictional character portrayed by Giancarlo Esposito in the Breaking Bad franchise. Excruciating means intensely painful, so if chamber is similar to a torture chamber. Fever dream. A fever dream is a vivid and intense dream that occurs when you have a high fever. Cicatrize is the scar of a healed wound. Aquatic auroras are caused by a change in the water's temperature and density, which causes it to glow green or red. Storming summit. Summit means to be at the peak of a mountain. But the level is themed around the video game Celeste, with each part or section of parts representing a chapter in the game. Shutdown is a closure of something, typically a temporary closure due to a malfunction or for maintenance. Requiem, a mass for the repose of the souls of the dead. An eternal moment is just a moment that will last forever. RAM is the abbreviation of random access memory, which is the main memory in a computer, smartphone, or tablet. 
A controller is a person or a thing that constantly regulates or directs something. I could be wrong on this, but Mirrored Calamity is a remake on Cosmic Calamity in which we have reviewed earlier. Sparkling is the way of something that is shining very brightly while flashing emits of light. Random Access Memory It's basically RAM, it's just not abbreviated. Beyond Hell is implying that you went deeper and farther than Hell itself. Omega, the 24th and last letter of the Greek alphabet, which translates to the letter O. 